What's poppin' Connor? Hi, today is May 15th, 2019. I'm Abby. And I'm Amaya. And today we will be talking about zombie cells that make you age in a new thread to all Echo owners. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Build up in your body, studies suggest they promote aging and the conditions that come with it like osteoporosis and Alzheimer's disease. Researchers are studying drugs that can kill zombie cells and possibly treat the problems they bring. Basically the goal is to fight aging itself, which hopefully will in turn delay the appearance of age-related disease, diseases and disabilities as a group, says geriatric specialist Dr. James Kirkland of the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. That's in contrast to playing a whack-a-mole game of treating one disease only to see another spring up, he said. The research, have, the research has been done chiefly in mice earlier this year. The first test in people was published and provided some tantalizing results. Zombie cells are actually called senescent disease. They start out normal, but then encounter stress like damage to their DNA or viral infection. At that point, a cell can choose to die or become a zombie, basically entering a state of suspended animation. In more local news, the new Alexa Guard is coming to all owners of the Echo. This will let you know when there's a fire or breaking in your house or any other danger. It will also let you hear the audio recording of the incident from your Android phone or iPhone. In addition, it can also mimic your daily light uses and switch the, switch the lights on and off to make it seem like your home. There will also be many more cool features like send specific phrases to activate guard mode and strengthening your current security system added to the Echo. You can go to their home page and look at the steps to set up this app. So go out there and purchase the Alexa Guard Echo. Now we'll toss it to Gabe up for the weather. Now for today's weather, the high of today will be 82 degrees and the low will be 60, 63 degrees, while we also have 30% chance of rain. Taking a look at tomorrow, you can see the high will be 83 and the low will be 63, with a 30% chance of rain. The rest of this week will also be partly cloudy and some chance of storms on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thursday will be a high of 83, Friday will be a high of 83. Looking ahead to next week, it will be relatively warm with lots of rain. Just be cautious and keep your umbrellas handy. Now for the fact of the day. Robert G. Heff initially created the American flag in 1958 as a school project during his junior high, junior year in high school. Now we'll be back with the sports after a quick commercial break. There was a time in my life where I was extremely homesick. I decided that I needed a pet. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. He jumped up and kissed me and like jumped right into my arms. I immediately went up to the volunteers at the shelter and said, I want him, like, he's gotta come home with me. Not anything but lonely. Every day with turtle is a perfect day and keeps me company when I'm doing schoolwork. I like it when he jumps up on the table too. He is a veggie thief. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. Can't say that I've met anybody that doesn't love him too. When I adopted Turtle, I discovered all the things that make him unique. He's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly he's all pure love. Hey guys, I'm Amir, your sports reporter for today. Golden State Warriors star Kevin Durant will not play at least Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals against the Portland Trail Blazers because of a strained right calf. The 76ers are upset after the buzzer beater loses 92-90 to after Kawhi hit the shot to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. 
Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman Tyrone Crawford was charged with a misdemeanor count of unlawful assembly stemming from an incident in March at a bar in Panama City Beach, Florida. Now for the quote of the day. The more difficult the victory, the, gr the greater the happiness in the winning, said Peel. Now we'll take it back for our anchor, for, to our anchors for some quick announcements. If you're wondering about the schedule for finals and wonder no more, just visit chs.conroeisd.net and click on the testing information button under the academics tab. Finals are coming up quick, so make sure to check out that schedule. The CHS Bass Club Bass Fishing Team is holding an informational meeting for the 2019-2020 CHS Bass Fishing Team on Monday, May 20th at 6.30 in the LGI. See Mrs. Wilson in room 317 if you have any questions. The Cornwall High School Leo Club will be having their end of the year party on Wednesday, May 22nd from 3 to 5 in the LGI. All Cornwall High School library books are due by this Friday, May 17th. The last day for the Cornwall High School library to stay open until 5 will be Thursday, May 23rd. Those are all the announcements that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for more KTIG News. Thinking about you for some time You the gold, baby I can't find another kind All that fighting that you do In the end, you